Greetings carnivores and welcome back to Carnivore Confidential, episode 2 of my pork bacon video. Coming right up. Okay, boy, I wish you guys could smell this, because uh, it smells pretty awesome. Um, took it off the barbecue. Uh, after I smoked it yesterday for three or four hours. And this is the um, brine mixture from Buckboard Buckboard Baking Cure. Again, like I said, I bought this at uh, Bass Pro Shop a few, well, probably over a year ago. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna lay this out here. And like I said, it's um, it calls for a um, about a tablespoon and a half of this stuff per pound of meat. And I know that looks liberal, and it is. That's what we're going to do. Now what's going to happen, <clears throat> pardon me, what's going to happen now is uh, the salt in this uh, salt, sugar, brine mixture kind of thing is going to pull moisture out of this like nobody's business. So what I'm going to try and do now is squeeze it into a Ziploc bag. But in the meantime, I'm going to add the rest of this brine to the top and bottom like so. All right, so <clears throat> pardon me. Remember yesterday I told you not to use a metal pan? Um, do not use a metal pan because the um, the, the, um, the salt brine will leach a metallic taste out of the metal, uh, and we don't want that. All right, but uh, I am going to use a metal pan just to uh, make sure that I don't make a mess in my fridge. Okay, so today is uh, Monday. I will check back in with all of you as we go along. All right. Good morning, good morning. Today is the morning of the, gosh, what about the 12th or 14th day on this piece of uh, fresh pork belly that I have cold smoked, as I said earlier. Uh, fast forward uh, 12 or 14 days, sitting in a brine. Just took it out of the brine. Wanted to give you a heads up to see what it looked like. Um, I'm going to quickly turn it over here. And now, I, the only thing I need left, oops, the only thing I need to do now is rinse it, rinse it thoroughly because it's been sitting in the, um, sitting in the brine, the salt and sugar brine for uh, 10, to 14, 12 to 14 days, I think it was. Um, so I'm going to uh, rinse it and then I'm going to soak it in water to make sure I can get some a lot of the salt out of it. And then uh, later on, we're going to slice it and perhaps fry it and have a little taste test. So, bye for now. Uh, stay tuned, folks. Uh, fresh pork belly, homemade bacon video returns. Greetings, carnivores. Welcome back. I'm Dougie the Butcher. This is Carnivore Confidential. We've been making our own homemade side bacon uh, using a fresh pork belly that I cold smoked initially on my smoker for three or four hours. And then I put it in a brine that I bought from Bass Pro Shops called Buckboard Bacon Cure. And I apologize, I've already thrown the box away. Uh, fast forward 14, 12 to 14 days. It's been, in the, it's been off the smoker and in the brine for 12 to 14 days. This morning I got up and rinsed it off in cold water and then put it in a glass, a glass of, uh, baking dish, glass dish. Don't use metal because metal will, uh, the salt will leach this, the taste of the metal into the product. And you don't want that. Um, so anyway, I put it in a glass baking dish with a lid, and it's been in the, in the fridge all day. I'm going to take it out, show you where we're at. I'm going to rinse it off again, put it in another cold water bath. Probably do that again tomorrow, and tomorrow night I'm going to slice it. We'll fry it up, and we'll give it a taste test. I know you're going to dig it, so stick around for that. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you enjoy this. All right, folks, I've taken it out of the fridge. This is my glass container I told you about. As you can see... The water is a little bit brown in color, which means it's leaching the uh, the salt and the um, 
the, 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 a little bit of the smoke out of the meat. If you could smell this, you could, it's too bad you can't smell this because it smells great. But anyway, I'm going to take it from here over to there. There's my dinner in the sink, sorry. Uh, from here over to there. Uh, rinse it off some more, and then when I pat it dry, we're going to come back. I'm going to take it, I'm going to show you where we're at on the cutting board here before I put it back in some clean water and stick it back in the fridge. All right, folks. Sorry for jumping around like that, but I just wanted to show you where we were at. Stick around. Welcome back, folks. I've rinsed it off. I've pat it dry. Patted? Pat? Patted? Pat? Whatever. Pat it dry. And this is what we're looking at. So I've got this beautiful piece of fresh pork belly. It's no longer fresh, of course, because I've cured it and I've smoked it. So that's not really considered fresh. Fresh is fresh. This is cured and smoked. Anyway, you can see it's a beautiful piece of pork belly. I chose this one because it's so lean. Don't normally find them that lean. This one was really nice. And damn, it smells good. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, put this back in the glass dish that I had it soaking in to uh, hopefully desalinate it uh, a little bit. And uh, so I'm going to put it back in there overnight. Put this down for a sec. I'm going to put this back in there. Uh, we're going to cover it with fresh cold water, put the lid back on it, stick it back in the fridge. And then tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening, I'm going to come back uh, to you guys. We're going to cut this and come back to you guys. And uh, I'm going to take it out of the uh, water. Hopefully it's not too salty. We're going to dry it off, slice it up, fry it up, have a taste test. I know you're going to love it. Uh, come on back for that. Thanks for hanging around. Dougie the Butcher, Carnivore Confidential. We're showing you how to make your own bacon, folks. It's cheap and it's fun. Greetings, carnivores. That's a wrap on episode number two. Come on back next week for episode number three and we'll wrap this all up. In the meantime, I hope you like what you're seeing. Like and subscribe to my new channel and um, share it with your friends. And uh, give me, shoot me a comment if there's anything you'd like to see in future videos. Thanks again for dropping by. We'll see you next week.